Junior Gar, thank you, mate, for joining me at Vox Collective. As you can see, we're, our heart is to release the, the voice of the prophetic voice in, in the lives of people. And man, you've been on my radar uh, since you've been a little boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me sound old. But, uh, you know, I think for people who don't know who Junior Gar is, this guy is phenomenally talented. Uh, um, but he's got such a huge heart for the things of God. So, Junior, tell us who you are, where you're from. Um, my name is Junior Gar. I was born in Ghana, uh, which is in West Africa. Um, and um, <laughs> I moved over here to the UK when I was 10 years old to join my parents. And um, I've, had a, I've had a few years that I've moved over to, the, to America and uh, just recently moved back to London. Wow. We, you know, we're so excited that you come back to London. You know, do you know what's the thing that you're passionate about? What, what, what is it that you're, you know? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm passionate, obviously, about worship. I'm passionate about music. Um, mm. uh, my, my history is in um, African, you know, music and African rhythms. Um, and so I'm, I'm passionate about that. But recently I've been really getting into art and yeah. just... Um, the renaissance and like yeah. beauty of you know of of um of art and architecture and, and that kind of thing it, it inspires me inspires me in my music it inspires me in my writing wow. um and so yeah. yeah and i think that's really important because i think that as an artist as somebody who's an artistic person yeah you know you, you just mentioned that you draw inspiration from you know stuff and the renaissance is something really 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 mm. really powerful about what, what you're talking about and how you're able to draw stuff. I mean, what, what you know, we, we talk about worship and, you know, lifestyle of worship. You know, what does that mean to you? That's a great question. Um, I, have this, I have this lake by where I live and I walk around this lake every single morning. Um, and that's, you know, I, I had this thought the other day as I was walking um, around the lake and the thought was the secret place is not necessarily a a a, yeah. a place it's it's a it's a space yeah you know and so you know my secret place is not necessarily in one in in one space but i can find god in my secret place around the lake you know and so um for me my my, my daily life of worship is is a is is um it's an eclectic one yeah. with God you know I can I, I can literally I like that eclectic yeah <laughs> it's, ahead, it's, yeah. it's different because you know I can I can hear him when when I'm making a cup of tea you know or or cooking I love to cook I'm, I'm a big foodie Lord. And, <laughs> as Hello. you can tell <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um but but I but I think the life of a worshiper is about finding him in everything um and it's and it's as as cliche as that can sound um the the beauty about God is that he is in everything. You know, if I make my bed in hell, he's there. You know, yeah. if, I, if I'm on the mountaintop, he's there. Yeah. And so like, when you look at, when you look at the expanse of life, mm. he is woven into everything. And I think that the lifestyle of a worshiper is, is a lifestyle that constantly looks for, looks for him, you know. Do you know what? That is so profound, Junior, because the story of David mm. follows that in that, you know, like you mentioned the scripture, if I make my bed in hell, you're there. Mm -hmm. His awareness of God's nearness is, you know, oh, I feel something <laughs> going on right now. The, it, this is one yeah. of the DNA traits of a worshipper, mm -hmm. the awareness of, of God. his nearness. Yeah. Now, uh, what, what, what I want to ask you is that, look, is there anything, because I, like I said, I've, I've known you and like you're one of my favourite worship leaders. You really are. Thank um, you. Man, there's some songs that you wrote that completely just like wrecked me mm -hmm. do you know and is there a moment in your life as you grew up you know you come from Ghana you're in England you've gone to America is there a moment you can look back and say well actually this was the Kairos moment when everything changed for me I was stained forever mm. this uh, there's no going back mm. yeah <laughs> and I can I can feel the presence of God right my, now. my, my friend my friend I, I'm there with you um, trust me <laughs> Um, yeah, um, there was there was a time when I, I, I took some time out and um, I, I traveled away and I was just searching for God. I was just searching for, you know, like, what is it? Like, what? 
how can I get near him? How can I get close to you? How can I, how can I learn about your ways? You know, and um, this journey was about that. Like it was, I was on a quest to find his heart. And I remember um, going into going into the church um, at the location at, at the when at, at the place that I was. I remember I remember going into the church and. Um, as worship was about to start, I was like, God, right, it's just, it's you and me. You are gonna talk to me today. Cause I need to know, I need to hear from you and I need to know my purpose. I need to understand, I need to hear from you. I need to, I need to know who I am. Wow. Um, and you know, I, I just went over like to the corner somewhere. I love that I need to know who I am. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, do you, do you know what's, what's profound about what you're saying is that what people may not understand, people think the journey of a worshiper mm. is is this this thing that we do, mm -mm. but it's actually it, it's it's the journey it's that are. we narrate. Yeah, you know. So you telling that story, you have that moment. Mm. Um, just tell, just finish that, finish that line. Okay? Yeah. So so um so I so I go over to the corner and I just I there was just this wave that just hit me, and literally I I I couldn't stand. So I I, I fell and I was. And I was and I was face front, you know, like on the floor, um, and I, I I heard God speak to me, and He was like, "Before you are a musician," because that was where my identity was. Absolutely, you know, in music. Before you are a you know um, an artist, before you are a songwriter, before you are anything, you are my child. Yep, so. You are my son, and I am your father. That right there was my turning point. What a powerful yeah. affirmation. And you know, th there's a saying that um, God doesn't use a man until he gives him an experience. Mm. And the reason why God gives a man experience is because when, when the chips get hot and it gets hard, sometimes you have to look back at, no, that was real. And, where and did I come from? Where did that come from? <laughs> no, Junior, you've worked on both sides of the pond. Mm. Um, we call it the pond. Pond is a big sea, bro. Right? Try and swim massive it. Massive ocean. <laughs> right, massive ocean. <laughs> right, but you worked on both sides. Yeah. I mean, tell us.